The December 10th release of Cyberpunk 2077 arguably the biggest new video game of the year has been nothing short of an unmitigated disaster for its Polish producer CD Projekt. After eight years of hype fueled by CD Projekt's relentless marketing machine, disappointed shareholders and angry fans are now left to ponder what could have been. Cyberpunk 2077 currently emblazoned on the side of London buses is the first game in five years from CD Projekt, a much-loved Warsaw-based studio best known for its Witcher series, based on the rich lore of Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski's fantasy novels, Think Slavic Tolkien. CD Projekt scored popular if enigmatic Hollywood A-lister Keanu Reeves as the motion-captured frontman for Cyberpunk 2077, and some analysts projected revenues for the game to hit $1 billion or more. The hype drove up the share price of Warsaw listed CD Projekt by more than 50% between January and December 4. That made company co-founders Michal Kaczynski, who left in 2013, and Marcin Nowinski both billionaires one of just a small handful of video game billionaires globally. But Cyberpunk 2077 has so far been a huge disappointment, particularly for players with older gaming consoles not using a $2,000 gaming PC, or an impossible-to-find next-generation PlayStation or Xbox, a group of around 160 million gamers, according to one analyst. Over the weekend the hashtag hash cyberbug2077 emerged on Twitter, encapsulating the Cyberpunk 2077 experience for many users showing stuttering frame rates, the game's on-screen smoothness, floating cigarettes and chopsticks, while random citizens fall from buildings for no apparent reason. As the online conversation around Cyberpunk 2077 changed from positive to negative, the CD Projekt share price began to drop a few days before the game's release. From December 5 through December 11, CD Projekt shares tumbled 28%, wiping a combined $700 million from the fortunes of the co-founders. As of the end of Friday December 11, Kaczynski, who owns just under 10% of CD Projekt, was worth slightly less than $900 million. Ivinsky, who owns just under 13% is worth $1.1 billion, down from nearly $1.5 billion on December 4. Kaczynski didn't comment on CD Projekt's share price, nor did a spokesperson for Ivinsky. Analysts say the decision to release a game so lackluster for the set of users it was originally intended for, represents a major misjudgment by the studio's leadership team. Playing Cyberpunk 2077 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox is, like watching Netflix on a dial-up modem, says Ken Rumpf equity analyst at Jefferies, suggesting that CD Projekt could just give up on those using last generation kit, describing the release as a console car crash. CD Projekt is expected to at least try to release online updates that get the game into playable shape in the months to come. Madi Littinen, equity analyst at Alliance Bernstein, isn't convinced. On the 2013 base models of PS4 and Xbox, 